I'm a Zulu mayor, John Ingen, and I love living in my hometown. I love living in Montana. And like many of you, I believe in giving back to the community. And on May 3rd, throughout many cities in Montana, you'll have a chance to contribute to your community in a meaningful way. Um, you have local Missoula is our program. That's the way that through the Missoula Community Foundation, we raise money to make a difference in lives throughout the city. Um, our goal this year is to raise about $300,000 from 3,000 folks in one day. That's the 3rd of May, Give Local Day. Um, we have had tremendous success, and all it takes is 10 bucks a person. Pretty cheap, pretty low threshold investment, but makes a huge difference if enough people participate. A tremendously successful program here in Missoula, and we'd like to offer a little bit of a friendly challenge. It turns out there's this community on the other side of the state, starts with a B, has a Z in it. Uh, they do, I think there's a university there. They do, I think, agricultural education of some kind. Maybe there's more than that going on. Um, as it turns out, there's a bit of a rivalry between the community of Bozeman and Missoula, uh, but it's friendly and it all works. And one of the ways it can work on May 3rd is as you give big Gallatin, uh, you have an opportunity to sort of show Missoulians that folks on that side of the state are uh, as generous as Missoulians. I'm not sure you are. Um, the only way to really demonstrate it is to raise money. So we want to raise $300,000. We're challenging you to raise two sixty. What do you think, Meredith? Two sixty. I don't know. Three is a pretty good number. Three? Three is a pretty good number. Why, why don't we suggest that the folks in Gallatin County can raise $300,000 to support local efforts in Bozeman and surrounding areas here in Missoula? We'll raise $300,000 to support our efforts. Um, and if we both get there, everyone benefits. Uh, I don't know if you can do it, frankly. It's kind of a challenge, kind of a calling you out, kind of a saying, can Bozeman step up and do the right thing? I think you can, but why don't you show me? In the meantime, we'll do our best to show you how it's done in Missoula, and we'll make a difference for everyone and make lives better. Pretty phenomenal program. Let's give it a whirl. Thanks. Hey, welcome, everybody. We're going to get started in about two minutes. Um, for those of you who joined midway, that was the dulcet tones of our mayor, <laughs> John Engen. Uh, giving a challenge to our compatriots in Bozeman to see if they can raise $300,000 on May 3rd, as we are trying to do. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, on our YouTube channel, the Missoula Community Foundation channel, and it's the Give Local Missoula playlist. But we'll be talking about more of that in about one minute. What did it say? Happy one can you hear us? Yes, we're going to ask everybody to mute your line. <laughs> so, if you could okay. everybody press star six to mute your line, that would be great. I'm just going to pop it back over to the other slide just in case folks have not yet joined us on the phone. So it is 10 o'clock. So we are going to get started. Uh, welcome everybody to the Getting Ready for Giving Day webinar. Uh, we have our Give Local Missoula County coming up on May 3rd in 12 days. Very exciting. Uh, before we get started, if if everybody could please press star six to meet your line. Uh, later on, when there's time for questions, you can press star seven to unmute to ask a question. You could also type this question in the chat box. Um, and just to let everybody know that the webinar is being recorded, so you can rewatch it and relive the excitement. So away we go. 
So we are part of Give Local America. This is the third year of Give Local Missoula County and also the third year of Give Local America. And just to show you, some of you may have seen this <laughs> slide before real quick, uh, the growth between the two years, 53 million to 68 million uh, average donations stayed at $113. Uh, mobile donations have gone up 15.9% to 19.8%. And um, Kimbia has done a really good job of updating their mobile function so that the, the site works really well on your phone as well. A uh, number of gifts went up from 305000 to $375,000. Uh, and we'll see what happens this year here coming up real soon. So last year, uh, for Give Local Missoula, we did a fantastic job. Uh, we had our goal of raising $200,000, and we ended up raising over $274,000 for 135 local nonprofits in 24 hours. Um, we had 2,663 gifts, and most of our gifts were $10, on uh, 19%. So uh, everyone can be a philanthropist. You don't have to have a lot of money. Did did a great job, and hope even better this year. So our goal this year are, oh, could you please um, press star six to mute your line? Thanks. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so our goals are to promote online giving. Uh, this is growing at a rate of about 13% per year. Um, we want to raise $300,000 for our local nonprofits. We would like to engage you and young donors, uh, get folks donating when they're young, and hopefully keep them donating throughout their whole lives. Uh, we would like to have 3,000 donors this year. Last year we had 1,600. So we'd like to do almost double that number. And we would love to raise more money than our friends in Bozeman if we can. Uh, we beat the cat. So we'll see. And so just real quick, um, responsibilities of the Community Foundation of what we've been doing. We've sought sponsors for, for bonus funds and prizes. We've created common brand and messaging. Um, if you could please um, press star six to mute your line, that would be great. Thanks. Um, we have provided a nonprofit toolkit with resources for you that's on the toolkit tab of our Give Local website. Um, we have facilitated a nonprofit boot camp series in February. Uh, hopefully you got to participate in that. Uh, we serve as a liaison between Nonprofits and Kimbia, uh, the company that does the website. And we are working on raising awareness of the Giving Day in our community and generating buzz with our little bees. And so your responsibilities, um, which you've all done, good for you. <laughs> you've registered for the Give Local Day. Um, you've all attended an orientation. Uh, hopefully you've posted a link to the Giving Day on your website. You can do that. If you go to the toolkit page, there's our logo, the Give Local Missoula County logo. That would be a good thing to take and put on your website and then link it to um, the, web, the Give Local Missoula website. Uh, you can seek sponsors for matching funds, and a lot of you have done that, have done a really good job of getting matching funds um, that, will be, that will be showing on your profile page you know, when, when donors go there. And there's still time to do that. And you can, if you can get 500 or more dollars, um, then you can have the check made out to the Missoula Community Foundation, bring it over, um, we will get that put on your profile page so that when donors are there, they see that their dollars will be leveraged even more by giving to you. Sounds like we've got some background noise. If everybody could please press star six to mute your line, that would be great. Um, and so you've done a great job of seeking some sponsors for your own matching funds. And also you are raising awareness of the Giving Day using your existing communication vehicles. I've seen some really nice e-newsletters come through with, uh, with information about the Give Local Day. And also using social media to publicize your participation. And we've provided you know, resources like the eight-week work plan, um, the promotional plans, it's all, all on the toolkit page that has messages. Um, but you can also just share and comment on things that we have shared. 
Um, there's a lot of videos that we've posted to YouTube right now that you can share. Um, so there's a lot of content that you can use to promote the day. So on May 3rd, uh, donations to your organization will go even further. So this is kind of how your, how your check is made. First, we start with a donation that is made to your organization. Uh, then a 5.06% fee will be deducted. And in the next slide, I'll talk about how that breaks down. But just to let you all know that, uh, that we have worked with frontline processing to negotiate a lower fee than we have ever had before. So we're really excited about that. And you will also add local share funds. And I'll explain how those are distributed. And then if you get a prize, that would be added as well. And then that equals the total check to your organization. And just to remind you all that uh, we are one of the organizations that people can give to on Give Local Day, but we do not take a percentage. Um, we only take, have the participation fee that you've all paid. Okay. So, oh, sorry, this doesn't look as great as it looked on my computer. So, fees and payment. Uh, as I had mentioned, the credit card fee is lower this year. Uh, and this year when a donor checks out, they will have the option to actually cover your fees. Uh, last year they were able to add an additional donation amount that didn't actually cover the fee. <laughs> but Kimbia worked it out now so that if they want to, they could cover the entire amount of the fee and so that that entire amount would go to your organization. And so they have an option if they would like to cover it or if they wouldn't. And if they do pay the fee, then they will pay 2.37% as a credit card fee plus the 2.99% Kimbia fee, Kimbia, which is the website platform, and that equals a 5.36% fee total, which is actually lower than the fee that we had last year that didn't cover the cost. If they decide that they do not want to pay the fee, then they will pay 2.07% of a credit card fee plus the 2.99% can be a fee, and that will equal 5.06%. And so at the end of the event, you will get a report from us that will tell you if the donor has covered the fee or not. And uh, we will have checks either mailed to you mm -hmm. at the address listed in your profile by June 1st or we will also have them ready at, for the May 25th Give Local Community Celebration that we'll be having in Karis Park, which will be a lot of fun and we'd really like to encourage lots of people to come to it. So that is all about the fees and payment. Hopefully that makes sense. But at the end, if you have questions, uh, you can ask them or you can chat the question in. Okay, moving on. Oh, just another reminder, if everybody could just mute your line, star six, if you've just recently joined us. So we have our hourly prize schedule um, that is on the website uh, in the toolkit page, and actually on the home page, like in the first paragraph, there's a link to it. And so this year we have raised $11,000 in prizes that you will be able to compete for during every hour of Give Local. And you can take a look at the schedule to see what you think that you want to go for. Um, we have the ones that are like the first donor and the last donor. And then I think we also have one that's like the one that's closest to 8 p.m. So those are kind of fun. Um, we've got ones that are related to how many donors you get during a certain time period or how much money that you raise during a certain time period. But just, just decide as an organization what you want to go for. Go for it. Uh, and you can only win one prize per organization. Uh, we just want to spread the love <laughs> as far as possible. And we will announce winners on social media on the day of, and they will also be posted on the leaderboard. And so here's a little snippet. So 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. we have a Plonk Donor Lounge Kickoff Challenge. So we want to pack Plonk at 12 a.m. to kick it off. Uh, you, make, you can make a $10 donation, get a free cocktail, 
with each $10 donation. So encourage everyone that you know that might be interested in something like that. Um, there is a plonk in Bozeman as well. We will have dueling plonks to see who can raise the most money in the first hour. So that's going to be really fun and exciting. And a nonprofit that receives the most unique donations in the first hour and has representation at Plonk will win one of the first prizes of $250. So that's fun. And then, so this year we have a share fund. <laughs> this is the name of it. And that's going to be the name of it hopefully forever. Um, so our, our goal this year is, is to raise $300,000, definitely. But really it's also to engage 3,000 donors. We want to engage as many donors as possible, and we feel like if we do that, then we'll raise $300,000. And so we are dividing the share fund in such a way that it really encourages you to try to get more donors. And so if you engage 10% of the total number of donors during Give Local Missoula County, you'll receive 10% of the share fund. So that is how it's going to work this time. Uh, the share fund dollars will be added to your total dollars raised at the end of the event. And then in order to be eligible <laughs> for matching funds and prizes, excuse me, I should have changed that to share funds and prizes, all donations must go through givelocalmissoula.org. Uh, checks may also be dropped off at a donor lounge. We don't want to encourage that. We don't really advertise it, but we also don't want to turn away any money. But checks should be made out to the Missoula Community Foundation with the memo of the organization that they want to give it to, um, that, the name written in that memo line. And this year our share fund total to date is $12,000. So this year we have, uh, so far, about $23,000 in share funds and prizes, uh, which is a lot more than last year. <laughs> so we're really excited about it. And those of you that are Missoula Federal Credit Union members, uh, you'll be happy to know that the Buzz Points program will be used to help build our share fund as well. So I happen to be a credit union member, and I am able to give to the Missoula Community Foundation. We are one of the organizations that the Buzz Points are able to go to. And so when I get enough points, um, 4,000 points is a $20 donation. So I make a $20 donation to the Community Foundation. Between April 25th and May 3rd, what the credit union is going to do is change it from the Community Foundation to the Share Fund. And credit union members will be able to redeem their buzz points and put those towards the Share Fund. And so we're hoping that that will generate at least a couple thousand dollars. And at their donor lounge, they're going to have, the credit union is going to have donor lounges at each of their branches on May 3rd from 9 a.m. to noon. And they're going to have staff there to help people learn how to redeem their buzz points. So we're really excited about that. And that will build the share fund. We're not exactly sure how much yet. Um, we also do have pint nights that uh, will contribute to the share fund probably a few hundred dollars, <laughs> not a lot, but uh, it will go up from $12,000. We're not sure how high it will go. Upcoming events. Uh, did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, sorry. I want to make sure I covered everything there. Okay, so we have lots of events this year. Uh, speaking of pint nights, tonight we have a pint night at, at the Kettle House North Side. And if you are participating in the Best Overall Campaign Contest, um, which you can still sign up for on the toolkit page of, of the GiveLocalMissoula.org website, uh, you can earn points for that campaign by doing things like coming to the pint nights. Um, so bring as many people as possible to these pint nights. It helps us make more money. And what we also are doing is having a drawing. So if you have, you know, let's say you have five people come, they fill out a little slip, they say that they're supporting your organization, and then that gets entered into a drawing at the end of the night where we'll pull it out and the winner will get another $100 added on to their total. 
and that does not disqualify you from winning a prize on the day of. So it's just another nice little encouragement for people to come to this event. Uh, I'd say more importantly, if you have to choose one thing to come to or to try to get your, your donors to come to, it's uh, Thursday, April 28th, which is next Thursday. Uh, Give Local 101. This is an event for donors to help them get ready to give, help them feel comfortable about giving on Give Local Day. It's going to be from 5.30 to 7 p.m. We're going to have two different sessions, two 30-minute sessions, the first one starting at 5.45. And basically, first is, how do they select a nonprofit? Uh, how do they figure out who to give to? And then the second part is how do they actually donate on Give Local Day? You know, we'll have screenshots of what the website's going to look like and show them, you know, where they put in their credit card information and all of that, and just the step-by-step -step information about how to donate. Uh, that is at Imagination Brewing, and the incentive for that night is we will be at the end of the night drawing for a $250 prize to your organization. So we really would like to get a lot of representation at that event, and we think it will be a lot of fun. Then on that following Friday, next Friday the 29th, we'll be doing a Celebrate Community Give Local March. And just an awareness march, just, to, just a fun thing on a Friday evening. Uh, we're going to meet at the X's at 5 p.m., and then we're going to march to Karis Park, and we would like to take a group photo and video for, for thank yous. And so we'd love to get a good crowd. And we're actually giving out extra points. We're giving out points for the Best Overall Campaign Contest, extra points if you dress up, if you bring an instrument. Uh, you know, we want to, to make a little, a little controlled ruckus. So let's see how many people we can get to come to our march. And then, then it really starts kicking off. So Monday, May 2nd, you know, right before midnight, uh, we have an event at the Thomas Marr Bar. From 6 p.m. to close, 20% of all of the sales of food and drinks will go to the Share Fund. So that's from 6 a.m. to 2, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pretty exciting, and that, that could be a nice uh, little hefty amount of money to add to our share fund. And if, if you are into it, <laughs> you know, we can have a contingent meet there. I'll be there. Meet there, and then go on over to Plonk. Go on over to the kickoff celebration. So that leads into that. Uh, midnight to 1 a.m. on May 3rd is our kickoff at Plonk, which I have talked about. Um, and then, then on Tuesday we have our, our 24 hours of giving. And then for the first time uh, this year we wanted to have a celebration afterwards. And you know, we do all do such a great job of, of bringing the community together to give back to our wonderful nonprofits. And we want to celebrate it. We want to celebrate you. We want to celebrate your donors. Uh, we want to celebrate giving. And so that's happening on the 25th in Karis Park from 5 to 8 p.m. We're going to have uh, free appetizers courtesy of the Missoula Fresh Market, some beverages, some music, some you know, drawings of little prizes. Uh, we'll be awarding prizes like the Best Overall Campaign. Uh, so that I'll just briefly describe for those who don't know, um, we're giving Three, we have three categories, small nonprofits, medium, and large. And uh, we have two prizes. First prize is $500. Second prize is $250 for each category of the nonprofits who can, can get the most points um, by doing things that, that you should be doing anyway to run a good campaign so you can make money. You know, things like coming to these pint nights and um, taking photos and sharing them on Facebook and you know, making sure to tag at Give Local Missoula and hashtag Give Local Missoula. That's the way we, we can find those photos. Uh, those kinds of things will help us raise more money and will get you points so that you can win those win one of those prizes. So like Meredith, I mentioned Yep. It looks like Dorsey has a question that she wanted to ask. Okay, hand raise. 
Okay. How do I do that? Let's see. I double click on it. Yes. I don't know how to do this. Dorsey? I'm not sure how to do this thing. Dorsey, if I'm you just could gonna... just use star seven to unmute your line if you're muted and ask a question. Are we back on? Hello. Hello. Hi, Dorsey. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful. Our phone still is saying mute. So um, we were wondering if you were going to record the Thursday, April 28th and have it posted on the web. Thank you. That is a great question, and I will make sure to talk to Joel about doing that, Joel at MCAT. Yeah, I just think that would be a helpful tutorial for those that can't make it. Absolutely. Thank All you. Right, That's a great suggestion. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Dorothy. All right. Excellent. Okay. So moving on from upcoming events. But anyway, I think the celebration is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So the big day. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You know, build excitement through marketing and social media. We have prizes throughout the day, which I mentioned. We have donor lounges. Um, that are listed on the Give Local website right on the home page. Uh, on the day of, there will be a link. The MissoulaEvents.net has a page that is just all Give Local events. Uh, we'll be doing media blitz. We'll have lots of media coverage. Uh, you can, what you can do is collect and share donor stories. You know, that's something we really want to do as much as possible this year is capture stories. So. You know, if, if you are with a donor who's donating, take a picture of them, take a little video, or we will be at the Florence building and we will have a backdrop um, where people can come and get their picture taken, and we'll have a little sign that says, you know, "I donated because," you know, those kinds of things. Um, and we'll have we have this picture frame that we'll have at the at the Florence building and maybe at some of the other donor lounges, but help us capture and collect those donor stories. Um, take photos and, and also videos, and make sure to tag at Give Local Missoula on Facebook or at Give Local MSO for Twitter. And Please continue make sure to hold. Oh, oh boy. Uh, make sure to star six your line, please, to mute. Uh, and add the hashtag of Give Local Missoula to everything that you do. And so, as I mentioned, we have the donor lounges all throughout the day, um, starting with Plonk. We have Missoula Fresh Market, both of their locations. Free Cycles, uh, here we have the Give Local HQ, which is at the Florence Building all day long. Uh, we'll be live broadcasting with MCAT throughout the day. Uh, there'll be a philanthropy panel at 1 o'clock um, there at the Florence. It's, there's just going to be a lot of fun stuff going on all over town. And so you can find out all about those lounges. And you can actually also volunteer at one of them. We actually still need quite a few volunteers for the donor lounges. And you can wear you know, T-shirts for your organization. That's fine. You know, as long as you're not like, coercing people to donate to you, you can certainly represent your organization at the same time as volunteering. Um, but if you go to the Give Local website on the home page, there's a button that you can press and go to sign up. It's really easy to sign up to help, and that we really appreciate it. Okay, so now to the, the nitty-gritty about the donating part. <laughs> what does it look like? What is the experience of the donor going to be? And so here we have a screenshot of a preview of what the page is going to look like on May 3rd. And so uh, as you can see, they can your donors can click on a list of hourly prizes if they want. They can also get a list of donor lounges there on the day of as well. But most importantly, to donate. So you see where it says organization name and then type to select. And then you can just start typing the first few letters of the name of the organization that you want to give to or that they want to give to. 
and it fills it in and you can select that. And then you select the amount that you would like to donate. And then you can indicate whether you're a first time donor to the organization. And then you can click the little green button that says add gift. And then you can do that as many times as you want. And they can donate uh, as many different amounts as they want as well, um, with the minimum being $10. So that's the top of the page. And this is the home page of, of the Give Local Missoula website. That's what it will look like on May 3rd. Okay. So then now as we scroll down, they're asked to give their information. And here's where they can ensure that their entire gift goes to the nonprofit, which is 5.36%. And they can indicate yes or no. Um, we did have it default to yes. So hopefully a lot of people will do it. Um, then they enter in their credit card information. And oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I skipped ahead. And then it will it'll show the total. They'll complete the transaction, and away they go. And I'll show you a sample of what the email receipt will look like that they will get. Okay, so now this is an example of a nonprofit profile page and what it will look like on May 3rd. So I selected the Roxy because they've been so generous in hosting all of our orientations uh, and helping with our video project. So they'll, the donor will be able to see how many gifts you've received and how much money you've raised. And there's a descending list of how much they can donate uh, with the minimum of $10. And then they fill in their information as they would on the home page. So, and this is from last year, <laughs> but this is an example of, of what the email receipt looks like. Uh, so, you know, some boilerplate language from the Community Foundation. This is the top part of it. And then the bottom part is the transaction summary. Uh, you can see the name of the donor, and then the nonprofit name will show, and then the amount that they donated. And if the donor uses the multi-give form, they will get one receipt with a, a list of the organizations that they have given to. So, and it will have the tax information. So the email receipt is their tax receipt, so you don't need to send them a tax receipt. But you do want to thank them, of course, profusely. Okay, so this is an example. This is actually throwback from 2014. <laughs> this is what the leaderboard looked like at the end of that giving day. But uh, donors will be able to sort by organization, by number of gifts, and by total amount raised. And that will be the leaderboard will be updated, you know, on a minute-to-minute -minute basis on May 3rd. And so this is an example of what the homepage will look like after the Give Local Day. So it will not say zero dollars <laughs> and zero gifts. It will say a much larger number. But the the important thing here is if they have lost their receipt, did not receive the receipt they can enter in their email address and hit resend, and then they can get it resent to them. So that's easy. Okay, so now really, really important information. Uh, so that your nonprofit links. And it says that, it, that they will be available on April 25th, but they are actually available now. Uh, whoever you put as your contact when you signed up, when you registered, has received an email with these links that are very, very, very important. <laughs> so please make sure to save the email. The email says important in the subject line. And the two links that you will get, uh, one is the link to your profile page. Uh, 
please hit star six to mute your line if you haven't. Uh, so the first link is the donate link. So when you send out an email appeal, you know you put that link, and you can send your donors right to your profile page. So that's that link. And then the second link is your report link, and that link shows you who has donated to you. <laughs> so that is very important. Uh, and it will not, so you will get the link today, you will click on it, and there will be nothing in it because nobody has donated to you yet. But it will become live as the giving day starts. So, and you can refresh it, I think it refreshes every few minutes or so. So, you know, you'll, you'll have that link on speed dial. You'll just keep clicking it to see who's donated to you, and you can thank people in real time as they've donated. So please, please save that email with the links. So this is an example of the nonprofit report that I was talking about. So it will show you the donation amount, the name of the donor, the email address, the mailing address, uh, and any notes. And if, if you have an anonymous donor, it will not show that information. It will just show the donation amount. Okay, so some troubleshooting. Hopefully we won't have any trouble, but it's possible. And so you know, some things that your donors might be saying is that your computer won't let my computer won't let me donate. Uh, it may be that they're not using a browser that is supported. So those browsers include Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer 10, Internet Explorer 9, iPhone and iPad, iOS 7 Plus, and Android. <coughs> that would be the first thing to ask if, if, you're, if the person is having trouble. Uh, if they can't find the receipt, then it's possible that that has landed in their spam folder. So you can ask them to go to their spam box and double check to make sure it's not there. Why are you bringing so much shit? And I was like, I don't know. Star six to mute your line, please. Hello, star six to mute your line, please. Okay. Are you talking to me? Talking hey, Meredith, to we have a question from Mark Moss. Okay. Yep. Hey, Mark. Star, so can you please address what to do if the organization has not received the email containing the links? Uh, let me know offline if you haven't received an email. It's possible that the email that we have is not correct, and I can make sure that you get the links. Thank you. Okay. All right. So. If you can't find the receipt, go to the spam box. And if they still can't find it, um, they can go to givelocalmissoula.org and re-enter their email address to resend the receipt. Um, I can always look up a donor. I mean, if all else fails, I can look somebody up and find their donation and resend them the receipt as well. Is your data secure? Yes, uh, the, the technology is PCI Level 1 compliant and do not store or have access to anybody's credit card information. Uh, if they're getting some kind of an error message, you can ask what message they're seeing. Uh, and you know they they may you, know, you might ask them to use another card if they're not if it's not working. Uh, and ask them if their address has changed. That's often a problem. And if in doubt then you can refer the donor to Caroline Lauer, who is our IT guru for the day. Uh, she will be at the Florence Building headquarters all day, uh, and the phone number there is 926-2846, um, or just come to our office if, if necessary. Uh, and we, we have a hotline that can be a support uh, if, we can't, uh, if we can't do troubleshoot the issue. So. Let's, oh, we're getting to the end. Okay, so yes, we want to thank our sponsors this year. As you can see, um, Missoula Federal Credit Union being our premier sponsor, um, we're very 
thankful to have everyone <laughs> sponsoring this year. We have five new sponsors, and I'm really excited about it and excited about the Giving Day. And so with that, do we have any other questions? So you can unmute your line, star 7 to unmute your line. Let's see if you have any questions or comments. Um, Meredith? Yes. Uh, this is Carolyn Patterson calling. And, hi. Um, hi. Uh, I, I did have a couple questions. I, um, you know, I wanted to send a postcard to our donors because I don't have all the donors on our email. And um, I guess if I was, if you were going to list like, you know, one, two, three, these are the most important things to do. Would it be, um, you know, going to a donor lounge, going, you know, listing the, of course, our email link? Um, what would you suggest? Like, what should the donor do? Yeah, on like the local just, day, you know, the top three things yeah. uh, to do. Um, you know, go to a donor mm -hmm. lounge, uh, or I guess the first would be to go to the link. But the, yeah, if number they have one problems, is go to a donate. donor lounge. What's that? Yeah, I mean, number one is <laughs> always to donate. That is, it's hard because there's so many things that they could do. Right. But number one, we want them to donate. You know, number two, we want them to share, you know, with their friends that they've donated. Okay. And you know, if they want to have fun and take advantage of incentives, then they can go to one of our donor lounges. Or if they want help giving, right. then they can okay. go to our donor lounges. Okay. You know, we do want them to go to the donor lounges, but you want them to donate to you. <laughs> right, the, you know, right, the, obviously. You want them to do, and you want you know, them to encourage their friends to do that as well. Right. So social reach kind of a thing. And then the donor lounges, I say, would be third. Okay. Yeah, and if and if you're going for a particular prize, that's, you know, like, that's a good idea. Like, you figure out oh, when that's you, a good idea. what prize yeah. you want to go for and say, you know, donate between this time and this oh, time. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, and where's that list of prizes? It is on the website, the GiveLocalMissoula.org website, and it is on the home page and the toolkit page. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank Other you. Questions? Mm -hmm. Other questions? Hey, Mary, this, this is Molly. Uh -huh. Hey, Molly. Hey. Um, I was just curious about what is being done with the videos that we recorded at MCAT. Oh, yeah. I had that question, too. Yeah. Those should be <laughs> – well, they are all on the MCAT website. I know that. So, And they're being played on MCAT a lot. <laughs> I was just there uh, recording on – what was it called? Missoula Live, I think it is. They're playing them constantly. Um, so I would assume that they would have sent them to you, but apparently they might not have. In that case, you can get them from YouTube. I mean, if you've recorded a video, uh, you go to the MCAT YouTube channel, and they're there. They post them there. Okay. And how are people using them to sort of promote Give Local? I would say share them on Facebook, you know, Twitter, put them on your website, send them in an email. Uh, give them to your board members to forward forward to people that they might want to you know to their friend lists. Hey, look at this great video! You know, give to us on May third. Those kinds of things. Okay, thanks. Great. Um, will you have those listed on your website? Because I noticed the ones on there are the ones from the previous year. Yeah, I've been going to MCAT and adding them to our playlist as well. Oh, okay. So I've got the ones from last year and the ones from this year as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, I heard that there are about 500 nonprofits throughout the state participating. Wow. That's exciting. That's great. Um, we have 12 communities, yeah. So 
our goal of this whole million dollars for Montana, I think that we could really do it. We have Great Falls and Billings this year. Wow. Uh, yeah. So that's, to me, also exciting, the whole awesome. Missoula thing, but then the statewide. And uh, if we can get that missoula Bozeman rivalry going, I think that, <laughs> that's a good thing, too. Uh, yeah, on our YouTube channel, there is the, the video of the of the mayor challenging Bozeman, and it's got about 150 views, so that's good. But that would be a good thing to promote, I would say, too. If To anybody that you know who's a Grizz fan or a Cat fan, <laughs> really a Grizz fan, let's say, uh, <laughs> to get that rivalry going. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, anything else? Oh, and the other question I had was about the Thursday, April 28th mm -hmm. event. Where can I get more information about that? Um, well, there's not a lot more. I mean, there's a Facebook page uh, event. That there's a okay. Facebook event with a little more information. Yeah, I would say. So is that the same as the Karis Park event? No. So Karis Park event is May 25th. Oh, May 25th. And then, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Right. So we've got the Give Local 101, which is like, how do you do this Give Local thing? Right. <laughs> the preparation thing. And then the thing in May is the, hey, we did it celebration. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? And, uh, I oh, yes. Uh-huh. Hi, this is Erica with Opportunity Resources. Um, yep. I am on the YouTube for MCAT and for Give Local, and I'm just not seeing all of them on there. Were, were all of the videos posted, or is there another way we can share them on our social media? You know, Scott Rance is the person that has been making these videos, and you can email him at okay. S. His, his email is S R A N. F as in Frank at mcat dot org, and because when you, you rec when did you record the video? Was it last week or? I think it was the eleventh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he was saying it's about a week turnaround because he's you oh. know he's got several of them, but so it might not be ready yet. If possible. Okay. Um, but he would obviously know. So yeah, you can ask him. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Anything else? I'm not hearing anything. So, all right then. Sounds like everybody's questions have been answered. If you have any other questions. Uh, Caroline is your number one contact, Caroline at Missoula Community Foundation dot org. Uh, so and hope you have a great day and hope okay, we have you. a great giving day. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. Have a, bye. have a great day. You too. Bye. bye, -bye.